Hey everybody, welcome back again. And this is our third video in our installment on how to quickly get set up and running and build a photography portfolio in just about no time at all. And uh, we, uh, if you've missed the other two videos, you might wanna watch them because they're kind of sequential here and you might wonder what the heck we're doing. In the first video, we basically set up our hosting, our domain name and threw WordPress in and we did it in five minutes. <laughs> and uh, the second video, we talked about installing this wonderful theme called Hero uh, from the awesome folks at uh, at Theme Trust, and uh, we're going to talk about how to set up Hero a little further. All we did in the last video is we got our background image here set, and we're going to work on some more options and how to set up this theme uh, and get a little tighter in, in this video. And so, um, one of the things that I wanted to point out, if you go back to the Theme Trust website, when you purchase a theme from Theme Trust, uh, they will give you the zip file with the theme in it, and you should get a download link also for a PDF file on how to use this theme. And if you didn't get that for whatever reason, you can get it straight off their website, and you can look through these because you don't actually have to own a theme to look at them uh, but if I go under support and let's click on knowledge base here's and they're very good at documentation for all their themes so you know if you want to view changes or whatever but this first category in here where it says theme documentation uh, this is basically how to use your theme now the one we're using is hero and um, you know like I said I've used a lot of their themes and they're excellent so anyway so here's getting started with hero uh, it's it's not a lot of stuff to read uh, it's separated out by chapter and it, it gives you all the information you need to know um, I've been through this so I'm just gonna walk you through it but if you have any questions um, and you actually own a theme from Theme Trust, this is where you get help. Uh, they also have uh, forums where you can get help from other users. And uh, anyway, the support is really good with Theme Trust, and it's one of the things I like about them. Let's go back over to my portfolio. First thing I want to do here is this is really not set up uh, for our portfolio site yet. By default, WordPress wants to put a list of your latest blog posts on the front of every page. And Hero gives you an option of doing a more static homepage that gives you not only blog posts, but also recent portfolios you might have put in there. And we're gonna talk about how to do a portfolio too, but let's set up this home page first. And it's really easy. All you have to do is let's go into our admin. So let's go back to the dashboard under my portfolio. And what you're gonna see is over on the um, right-hand side of the screen, we're going to need to set up our home page. So if I go over under pages, sorry, the left, I said right. If you go under pages, we're gonna say add new and we're gonna add a new page. And what we'll do is we'll give it a title, and the title's arbitrary because you won't actually see it, but uh, we'll call this home just because that's easy. So we're gonna do our home page, and then what I'm gonna do is before I save this, if you go to the right side of the screen, under page attributes, you're gonna see a template drop-down menu. And what we wanna do, he's, these are the templates that come with Hero, and there's five of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select home. Okay, so select home, and this is the home page template so this will behave like the homepage does in that demo. We're going to say publish. And now we've made the page, but we need to do one more thing to it. We need to set it so it, that this is the first page you see when you hit the website. WordPress will let you do that. If you go on the left-hand side of the screen under settings, this last tab down here, these are all the settings just have to do with WordPress in general. And what we're going to do is we're going to go under reading. Okay, the subject of reading here. These are basically the options you have when you're reading the website. And you can see by default, our web page displays our latest posts. What we want to do is say a static page. And it says, hey, what page do you want? Well, for the front page, let's select home. And we're good to go there. Under the post page, we'll leave that just as default. Let's say save changes. And now you can see, this is pretty nice, when I go under to visit the website now, under my portfolio visit site, here we are, we are now set up with the home page. You got rid of those blog posts and it is using home as the default. And you can see here, it says recent projects and then our services. And this allows you to assign certain things to be under those categories. You can also change the names of those categories, which is pretty important too. Um, for instance, some of you may not do consultation or something, so your services might not be something to fill out, but you have two options you, you know, for display there. Uh, recent projects is the one we want, and I'm gonna show you how to build a portfolio, and let's do that really quick. I'll show you how easy it is, and I've already put together some images for a portfolio. If you go back under the dashboard for WordPress here, I'm gonna go back into the back end, You'll notice that when you install any of the themes from ThemeTrust, uh, they give you a new content type. And on the left, the top stuff that you see, these are content types. So if I have posts, these are blog posts. If I wanna create a new blog post, that's fine. If I wanna upload some new media, you can deal with links, pages, comments. These are all types of, of posts and are yeah, basically content types, types of content. They've added one called projects. 
And this is what the portfolio is comprised of. They actually look a lot like blog posts or pages, but they've defined it as projects, and it's mainly so it can show up a certain way on that homepage. If you go into projects, what we're gonna do is so we're gonna say add a new project. And I'll give this project a title, and I've got some uh, street photos in here, but I really hate that term. So I'm gonna call it something else. It's called social documentary. Sorry, and these will be my social, let's actually spell it right, not documentary. How about documentary? And now we're good to go. So we will do our social documentary stuff here. Now, anytime you're creating anything, you can save your drafts, you can publish them. Uh, I prefer not to publish until I'm actually done. And I also prefer to work in the HTML editor. So if you look up here into your text editor, by default, yours is probably set up to visual. I prefer it to be an HTML, and I'll show you why in a minute, because we're actually, I'm gonna show you how to do some really easy code that you add to get some options on these. But anyway, for now, what we wanna do is say upload and insert. And this is where you add media to your post. If I select this Add Media button, um, again, as we saw in one of the other videos here, this makes it really easy. If I just open up the folder here, I'm going to drag and drop all four of these images on here. And you can see that what it's going to do is upload them one by one. And it'll start, it'll say crunching. And what that means is it's building thumbnails and all kinds of wonderful things like that. But the drag and drop interface is very cool. Now what I can do is um, I can, if I click on this show button on the um, on the right hand side of, of the screen here, uh, basically this allows me to go in and change the title of these images if I want to do that and I recommend that you do. And it also um, allows you to tell the size and stuff that you want, but there's this thing called link URL in here. And by default, and this is a little bit annoying about WordPress, um, it will default to the original image. But I don't want this link necessarily to be clicked on. It's not like that. You could set it so when you click on it, it goes to another website even. Um, so I'm gonna say none in here, and you have to do that for each one of these. So let's clear that out. Uh, other than that, full size, let's just say insert into post. And what it's going to do is insert the HTML code for that image into the post. If you're in the visual editor, you'll actually see the image. Let's go back to HTML. Uh, what I'm gonna do is drop a line and let's go add some more images from that. And what's cool is you'll notice that WordPress remembered that those four images belong to this web page. And I can now go in, let's grab the second image. I'll clear out the link here. Let's say insert into post. And make sure you selected full size. I want my images to be big and, and, uh, and looking good because after all it is a photo portfolio. Um, I wish there was a way to kind of dump these all at once, and there is, but it builds a gallery. So what we're doing is doing these by hand, but there's only four of them. So let's go ahead and say insert into post, drop one more line, and finally we will do the last image. Let's go in here, gallery, and let's say insert into post, and I'll say no link, insert. Okay, now I have all four of my images shown here. Let's go ahead and save this draft and it'll take a second to save it, and then you can hit the preview button and it will show you what this page is going to look like. And you'll see that it looks pretty good once it loads up here, there we go. Um, and this is certainly a cool way to do a portfolio. You could put text in between these images if you want, but my images look big, they're full width. Again, one thing that's really nice about uh, the hero theme is watch what happens when I resize this window. It will ensure that those images always stay the full width of the screen so they don't go cropping off. So if you open this on an iPhone or an iPad, you're, you're good to go, you're set. Uh, something that's really nice about Hero is I really like that, that responsive design. And then that's kind of an element of that is making sure that images stay the same width. And without going into the technical details, just know that Hero just does it. And a lot of the other themes from ThemeTrust do too. So it's not just limited to this one. Okay, one thing you can do with ThemeTrust that's really cool here, and I'm gonna open up the PDF and let's go over here. They have a little short code that shows you how to build a quick slideshow and this is also documented on the website but I'm have the PDF open here and what it does is it it, it uses what WordPress calls short code short code looks a lot like HTML tags it's just very simple but it's a little bit different and rather than using the greater than less than uh, greater than less than brackets you're going to use just straight up square brackets but basically what you want to do is all the images you want to be in that slideshow need to be between the tag slideshow and then front slash or forward slash slideshow so let's show you how to code that let's go back over here let's go back to the uh, the back end here and so basically I'm just going to take this group of images and if I go back up and I do my square bracket and I say slide show all one word and then we're going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to say bracket and then this one needs the the forward slash or the backslash backslash slideshow 
and then close the bracket. Now it basically takes everything that's between those two things and it automatically builds a slideshow. This is so cool. So let's save this draft and uh, let's go ahead and preview. And uh, it's gonna load it up here. And voila, you now have all of your images into this cool little slideshow. So there are little arrows on the side, so I can arrow through these images. Um, you can auto assign to, to scroll through. And you can actually use the arrows on your keyboard too, if you're on a desktop, to go through here. So this is a really nice way of building some images and uh, just having a, a small slideshow. I like my images to be big, so this this is a really nice option. You know, there's some plugins and stuff, and we'll, we'll go down, uh, we'll, we'll do some more videos as we go and talk about plugins and things that are essential, but you can really see how powerful WordPress is, particularly if you have a theme that's well-written uh, and what you can start to do. The other thing I really like about Hero that, that's really cool is, is the way it handles typography. And so one of the things you can do is actually put text into columns. And here's how to do the short codes for using columns. And basically, again, we're gonna see the short codes, which is you know a little bit of code that comes between some brackets, but this is how you set them up. Um, if you want, uh, it'll support uh, both half and third columns. So just make sure that you know if you're using one third, you'll use one third, close it, one third, close it. And then the last one needs to be one third last. You need to tell it you're on the last one. And I know that seems kind of counterintuitive, but it's just kind of a little glitch in HTML that needs to be dealt with. So that's the only only thing. So if I want to have some content columns here, let's let's do two. I'm going to paste in some um, some dummy text here, um, and uh, it's just Greek text. It doesn't mean anything. And let's put this into two columns under my image. So what we're going to do is use the square. And we'll say one half square bracket and let's go ahead and close that out and uh, they, their example was thirds I'm gonna use half and then let's just cut and paste that to make it a little quicker here and let's say one half last remember you have to tell it's the last one even though it should be obvious but it doesn't know okay so what I need to do is now just take some of this text here and I'm going to cut and paste it and put it between the bracket or my short codes and let's do this one too Let's cut that and let's put it between the short code and then I'll delete the rest of the stuff. I don't really need it. Or I could leave it in. I'll leave it in so you can see what it looks like um, as compared to column code. So we're going to leave that in. And what we're going to do is go ahead and say save draft. And then we'll preview. And let's see what that looks like. And you can see there it is. I have my gallery and then I have columns here. This is a lot of text in here, and I probably wouldn't want that many, t that much text to describe an image, but you certainly could. Um, but anyway, and I could do third columns too. This, this is what one half looks like, and one third would actually be three columns over. So anyway, this is really cool, and it gives you some great options as far as uh, you know, adding text to your web page and your image and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead, and we have just been saving draft. I'm going to go ahead and publish because I want to show you one more thing. So once you hit publish, this is live on the website. So now I can go back to the home page, say visit site. And there's one more thing I need to show you how to do in here. And you'll notice that now on the home page, recent projects, we have a square box and nothing works here. What's going on with that? Well, what happens is it's going to put thumbnails here for each of the images in your portfolio. So what we need to do is assign that portfolio thumbnail image and we haven't done that yet. So let me go back and let's figure out how to do that. If you go back under dashboard, and if you don't remember where it was, if I go under projects, because remember this is a project, and let's say, uh, let's just go select projects, it'll list them here. Here it is, social documentary, that's the one we did. And I'm going to edit this, and we'll get back into the edit window. Now, what I want to do here uh, is first of all, I need to talk about how they do that thumbnail image. And this is a concept that actually is used in the default themes that come with WordPress too. But WordPress allows you to do what's called a featured image. So if you look over here on the right side, there's a tab that says featured image. And I can set what that featured image is. So let's go ahead and say set featured image. I can upload a new image if I want, but I actually don't. I want to use one of the images that's in that gallery. That makes sense. Uh, you certainly could do a new image, uh, but you don't need to upload it if you want to use one of these same images. Uh, let's take this one of this guy in the snow in front of Intelligentsia, and we'll come down here. And rather, this time, we've been using this button that says Insert into Post. I'm not going to use it this time. I'm going to say Use as Featured Image. And you'll see that kind of in the dark over here on the right, it, uh, it loaded that in, so I'm good. We can just go ahead and close that window now. And we're good. Now what I need to do is Update. So it'll save uh, that page again, or excuse me, this project. And now if I go back to the home page, let's say visit site, you will see 
that voila, we now have a thumbnail image that allows you to mouse over and it says social documentary. And I can start putting as many of these as I want in here and build this out. Um, and you can see that, that you know, Hero really <laughs> shines right there. I can change the name of recent projects or services. And I can also change, if I don't like this mouse over color, this hover color of this mustard thing, you can change that too. And I'll show you real quickly where to do those. It's the kind of thing I'm not gonna go through because it's pretty obvious. Um, and uh, you know you probably want to do that on your own. So under appearance, if I go down to theme options, this is where it is. And uh, WordPress takes a little getting used to. There's a lot of options in here, but I think it's pretty simple. It's well laid out. It's free to use. Uh, it's very robust. Um, anyway, so here's basically where I can start changing options. If I want the recent projects title, say something else, I can do that here. Our services, I can get out of there. I can say featured pages. And that's what it does is it puts featured pages down there. And we can talk more about that in another video. But hopefully this will get you going and get you experimenting. Um, you know, there's a couple things, and I say this in the show notes, so if you want, I know we move kind of fast through these, so if you're looking at this on the page at theartofphotography.tv on building a, a photography portfolio, um, a couple of the reasons I really like WordPress, and I have had um, experience with Drupal and a little bit of Joomla and some custom stuff, and one of the things I like about WordPress is it's pretty straightforward, it's very strong, it's got a lot of options into it, it's, it's easy to use. Um, a lot of people use it, so you know, sometimes if you're working with other people, there's a good chance you won't have to train them as much on it because they've already used it at some point. Uh, but the big two things I like the most is like you know, other people handle all the coding that are much smarter than me, and they deal with all the security issues. And also the thing I like is it's very SEO friendly or it's very search engine optimized. And so I found that this tends to talk to Google a little bit better than if I just build a website by hand. Uh, it just is, does a really good job with that. Uh, I want to do one more video and we'll talk about plugins and that'll be the last in our series. And, you know, leave a comment on the page or whatever if you have any questions or anything. And, uh, you know, hopefully I've, I've shown you how easy it is to get up and, and going on a website. And, you know, using WordPress, updating it is easy. So keeping fresh content and new images on your website all the time, being able to write and add text, uh, you know, stuff that, that, you know, Google tends to like. Uh, so you'll rank a little better in search engines, ultimately. Uh, you know, WordPress makes that easy to do. So anyway, thanks again for watching. And we'll do one more. We'll talk about some plugins that you might want to use.